Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and a brand new vlog. It's been a little bit since I've done a new vlog here on my channel, but I'm so excited for this one because it's officially December and the holiday season. And I want to just do like a little try on haul with you guys to show you some of the things that I got over Black Friday weekend with all the amazing deals that were happening at different retailers. Um, I got some really cute stuff and I'm just like really excited for the holidays and some of the new outfits I got that I get to wear throughout the month of December and obviously beyond as well. Um, I got several things from my favorite stores like Abercrombie, of course, and Mango, which is like a new to me brand that I've been um, buying a few new pieces from lately, which has been really fun. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to show you. I kind of talked about this in a recent blog post, but like the older I've gotten, I kind of have realized that I'm really trying to like evolve and like just kind of stick to more of like a classic neutral wardrobe and like really aim for more of a capsule wardrobe. I feel like in my 20s, I was really all about like experimenting with different trends and like trying different things and playing around and having fun, which is, you know, amazing. Like one of the reasons I love fashion so much is that you can have fun with it and just play around and explore and kind of just test different styles and aesthetics to see like what feels true to you. Um, and that like different, you know, pieces of clothing can evoke different moods and things like that. Um, but I think for me, as I like, you know, get older, I'm in my early thirties now, like I really just want to invest in classic timeless pieces, which those are ultimately what I gravitate towards the most. And I kind of don't want to like chase trends necessarily. Like I just really want to focus on like, what are the things that really like speak to me that I can mix and match and wear for a longer period of time and just get more use out of. So that also was like a really big inspiration and kind of my my driving force behind a lot of my purchases that I did throughout November and like Black Friday weekend, just really trying to stick to like, what are those like wardrobe staples that I'll be able to really get a lot of longevity out of in the years to come. So let's kick things off. Um, I'm gonna kind of start with what I'm wearing right now. Um, one of the first pieces I got during the Abercrombie sale was this little basic like long sleeve layering top. And I love it so much. It seems so simple, but like once I saw it on the model, like in the photos online, I was like, what is this top? I need it in my life. And I think what I love about it so much is just that it's a really thin, like sheer layering piece. It actually has this built in tank underneath. So it's not like a separate piece. It's literally like built into um, the top, which I love. And I just, I don't know. I feel like it's really like elegant, really chic. It's a very versatile, layering piece just to wear like underneath different blazers, coats, and jackets. And I'm currently wearing it with like a little mini skirt and some sheer tights, but you can totally wear this with jeans. Again, it's just really versatile and I'm going to grab another piece to layer over it just so you can kind of see um, what I mean by the versatility component of it. So this is a blazer that I got from Mango and I'm gonna bring it a little closer just so you can see the detail of the pattern. It's this really um, nice kind of like herringbone, or maybe it's not herringbone, it might be like houndstooth actually, um, but kind of when you see the print like this, it looks more like a plaid, like check, um, but it's got different shades of like dark green, gray, brown, black. So I feel like it really is just like a lot of great classic neutral colors. And then when you pull it back, it just kind of looks like a nice, you know, neutral, um, layering piece and I was really on the hunt for a neutral blazer because the one that I have um, is from a brand called Misguided and it's more of like a kind of clay like orangey brown shade and it's not like the best quality so I was kind of looking just for more of like an elevated layering piece I was initially looking at black blazers but I kind of wanted something like more unique than just a you know simple black blazer so when I spotted this one so when I saw this like kind of nice camel neutral color and this fun like print that felt really like timeless and classic I felt like this was just a better option than going with something that's you know solid black a little bit more like basic um, and I feel like this really lends itself to a lot of different outfits so I paired this back to the top and this mini skirt with my tights 
and I've got some black boots on. Um, and I don't know, I'm just kind of like feeling like I'm really leaning into this Parisian chic kind of vibe <laughs> with some of the clothes I got. Um, and I love this blazer so much. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this because it's just such a timeless, you know, silhouette cut. And I really love the pattern on it. And you can also um, button it up if you wanted to. I haven't worn it like this yet, but I feel like it also looks pretty cute. Um, it has an internal, like an inside button as well to kind of help keep it closed. Um, but I feel like it looks cute like this too. So great for like where to work, if you work in an office, um, but also the blazer is really cute with jeans and like loafers and a belt. Okay, I've got quite a few more pieces to show you. Some really cute sweaters, so I'm gonna try those on next. Here is the next little look, uh, which is more of like a monochromatic outfit. This cute little crew neck wool blend sweater from Abercrombie in this kind of like cafe latte shade. And then I got a similar color pair of trousers. This is their um, Sloan tailored pant. And I'll adjust the camera a little bit too so you can see more of the full length shot. But um, I love these pants so much. I don't work in an office, but if I did, I would be wearing them like every day of the week. So if you're an office gal, I cannot recommend these pants enough. I have these on in a size, like they're a long, a 24 long. Um, I find that the regular length, I have two pairs in the regular length and those are great for like flat shoes or sneakers. And I'm 5'5 five five for reference. Um, so I'm wearing them in the long because I wanted to wear them with my little heel boots and they're perfect. So um, I also got this little black belt from Madewell to wear and like complete the whole look. I'm really into belts right now. Like I typically don't wear belts with like jeans or pants or anything, but I just think it kind of, I don't know, helps complete the look a little bit and just breaks up like the kind of monochromatic vibe of, of the outfit. Okay, so here is a better look full length view of the pants. They're a really nice like wide leg trouser. Um, and again, I've got them with these heeled Mark Fisher boots, which was another purchase because um, I didn't have a pair of just like classic heeled black leather ankle boots. And I love this pair so much. They're so comfy. Mark Fisher is always like my go-to brand for boots. Um, I probably have like, I don't know, over the years I think I've purchased like four or five pairs of their boots. They're my favorite but yeah so these are the 24 long in the pants um they hit just you know right above the ground in these boots i have on and again i'm 5'5 five five, just for height reference but um i love this monochromatic outfit i think this is super cute and just a really great kind of fall winter look you could pair a coat over this um you could add in like a scarf but I just thought this was a really nice like neutral look and I feel like this just feels like me <laughs> like I love neutral so much um just because you know they go with everything and I love just how like chic and classic um they are so alrighty I've got a few more things to show you so I'm going to move on to the next look so the other new sweater that I got is this sleeveless one again from Abercrombie and I love this shade of brown so much. It almost kind of reminds me of like nutmeg, um, but they call this their like easy shaker sweater. So this is really cute. You can definitely wear like a uh, layer a long sleeve underneath it because obviously it's getting a little bit colder now. Um, it's probably actually like freezing where most of you live, <laughs> but for me in Phoenix, um, we're still, like in the high 60s, like low 70s, so I can get away with wearing a sleeveless sweater like this. But um, yeah, so I just tucked it in with the belt, but it comes a little bit longer like this and it has little slits on the side, so you could totally wear this just long. Um, but I pretty much always tuck in like any top <laughs> that I wear into my jeans, um, just like out of habit really. But I usually like how it looks a bit more when I tuck things in. Um, the other thing that I can't believe I haven't shown you yet, um, is my lovely little souvenir from our Florence trip, my little Prada bag that I got 
my gosh, I love her so much. This is the, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the Prada like Arche or Arc bag. Um, I should probably confirm, <laughs> but it is gorgeous. I got it in the smooth leather finish. I looked at it in the nylon, the nylon version as well. It had like a leather strap, leather sides, and then like nylon front and back. But um, it was really beautiful in its own way. It felt like a bit more sporty, chic, sporty, kind of casual. But I knew that if I was gonna get a Prada bag, especially my first one, I wanted it to be leather, especially just knowing that um, I could dress it up a bit more and you can still wear it casually too with jeans. Um, but it's been so fun just being able to wear her around and I'm being incredibly careful. I try not to bring her out too much just because I don't want anything to happen. I'm really nervous about like scratches and things like that, but yeah, so definitely wanted to bring her on here and show you guys my newest addition to my handbag collection. Okay. And then something else that I got from the Abercrombie sale was this oversized trench coat and I've never owned a trench coat until now. Um, it's something that I've always like seen other women wear and go, oh my gosh, that's really cute. But I just didn't think that I could, I don't know, like pull it off or if I'd have like a, a use for it. But all I can say is I really wish I had this when we went to London because I, I don't know, when I think of trench coats, I just think of Burberry and then I think Burberry London. Um, anyway, but I love this trench coat so much. It's more of an oversized silhouette, but it's really lightweight. It's water and wind resistant. Um, it's got the little flappy thing in the back. Again, I have no idea what the correct terminology is because um, this is my first trench coat that I've ever had. But um, I just love that it's more of a boxy silhouette. It's not super fitted, but of course you can button it up. You can cinch in the waist here with the double drawstring. Um, what I've even done too with this one is if I don't want it to, you know, um, like basically if I want to show off my outfit a bit more, I will take it in the back and just kind of tie it a little bit so that it helps it to stay open in the front. So it just feels a bit more, um, I don't know, like less boxy kind of cinches in your waist a little bit to give you more of a shape, but um, just kind of an easy way to change up the look a little bit. So love the trench coat. I've been having a lot of fun just kind of styling it different ways. I had it on uh, with my like black little mini skirt and the sheer tights, which is a fun look too, just to kind of like elevate it a bit more and make it less casual. So really excited about this one. And again, this is just like a very classic timeless piece that I'll literally have in my wardrobe forever. I will definitely be bringing this when we hopefully go to London again next fall. That's like our, our hope is to um, go there in like September, October for our 10 year wedding anniversary. Um, Cause we just loved going to London this year in the spring so, so much. And my dream, my new dream now that I've been to London once is to go experience it for like every season. Um, so fall is like next on the list. So fingers crossed, hopefully we can make it happen. But if we do, this trench is definitely coming with me. Before I talk about the sweater, I wanted to just give you more of a close up of the Mark Fisher boots that I've been wearing for most of these outfits. Um, but this is the Ulani style and it's got a really nice block heel. It's probably about like three inches high, but it doesn't feel super high. Um, and you've got just a little hidden zipper on the inside of the boots, nice pointed toe. It's a smooth leather. Um, and again, I kind of gravitated towards these just because they were such a classic silhouette. I liked the height of the ankle boot, felt like a good, like medium rise, not something super like low cut, but, um, I usually wear these, um, even with straight leg jeans that hit right at the ankle and they fit really nicely, like under my jeans. So I don't have like any, you know, gap of like skin showing around my ankle. And of course they look really great with tights and a dress or a skirt. Um, even if you don't wear tights, they're still really cute with dresses and skirts. So I highly recommend these boots and just really any Mark Fisher boots in general. 
Um, the quality is really nice for the price point. They're super durable. I've had several pairs of his boots for many, many years and they hold up really well. So there you have those. And this cute little gray kind of cable knit sweater uh, has this nice like bat wing sleeve. Another one from Abercrombie, of course. Um, but this one is super cozy. I just love like more of the oversized, like boxy kind of fit of this sweater. And again, just tucked it in in the front here. Um, I also styled this um, with a little like white silk blouse underneath. So you can kind of see the collar peeking through. I think that's another kind of just fun way to switch up the look a little bit and make it a bit different. But I saved the best for last because I want to show you my favorite way to style this sweater. And it's something really sparkly and fun for the holidays. How fabulous and amazing is this sequin midi skirt? Oh my gosh. I love it so much. It is like the most festive holiday skirt that I could find on the internet. Um, this is another piece from Mango. It was like, I think $70. I feel like a really good price point, I think, for just, I don't know, the full on like sequins that are all over the skirt. So cute, so fun. Um, it's midi length. It's got a little slit in the back to make it easier to walk. And you could totally wear this, obviously with heels, but I actually wore this exact outfit with my high top Converse. Uh, one night out, we went to uh, the Christmas Carol, like a local kind of production of A Christmas Carol with some friends. And it was kind of cold and I didn't feel like wearing open toe heels. So I put on my Converse and it was a really fun look just to kind of dress it down a little bit, but still feeling like festive and fun. So yeah, I wanted to just kind of tuck it in with the Grace uh, sweater, just cause I think kind of gives it more of like a cozy look. But um, I have also worn this skirt with the sheer white long sleeve top that you saw in the beginning of the video um, with like a nice little, you could do like a black coat over it or um, really any color coat that you want. Um, but I feel like this is obviously a really great skirt for New Year's Eve or any Christmas or holiday festivities you've got going on this December, but wanted to save this for last because it's like my favorite piece that I bought um, in the month of November and I just think it's so cute. So there you have it. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me and letting me show you some of the pieces that I bought in November and um, I'm just super excited for all these great wardrobe staples that I'm going to be wearing throughout the rest of the year and of course in the next year too. So Thanks for being on this journey with me and hope you have a really wonderful weekend. We are actually heading over to Disneyland tomorrow. We're driving out with some friends and we're gonna be there for a couple days. I'm so excited to just experience all the holiday magic at Disneyland. Um, so if you're a Disney lover like me, make sure to head over to my Instagram at Blushful Bell, where I'll be sharing tons of content over on my stories and just bringing you along the journey and sharing all the holiday magic with you too. So wishing you a wonderful holiday season. Um, stay tuned as well, just on my blog, where I'll be showing you tons more like holiday outfit inspo and gift guides and all the fun things. So really excited and I will see you all soon.